This is super exciting for me. Yay. Hello, my lovelies. Today I'm coming at you guys with an exciting video because I got some new hair. I am coming off from the flu, so disregard the fact that I sound super stuffy. If you didn't know, I started my lock journey. These are my little baby locks. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk much. We're gonna jump right into it. Obviously, I can't have my hair cornrowed like everyone else, so I'm just going to work my locks in a nice tight ponytail. So, just a bunch. Now, people like me with sideburns, you know, it's a struggle for this wig game, but we're gonna make it work. Yeah, you guys know I naturally have a lot of baby hair myself, so that's why I usually don't do these full lace tutorials because I normally don't lay wigs like this just because I have so much baby hair already and I have sideburns. But for this, since it's locks, we try something different. This is what the unit looks like. I'll attach the Instagram somewhere right here. Now this unit is not heavy at all. It's actually the locks are very lightweight on it. It already came with some jewelry on it like so. We have an adjustable strap, one comb in the back, and an elastic band, and two combs on the side. And there's a comb in the front too, by the way. So the ear tabs are right here. I have a size large. What I'm basically gonna do now is cut the lace. Taking a small shear, these are eyebrow shears, I'm just gonna clean up the rest of the lace off of my head. Moving it into place so that my ear tabs align with where my sideburns are. If you're anything like me, you see how my natural baby hair is still out. It's very hard for me with full lace to completely cover that, so my natural baby hair is always still showing. I ain't got no choice. <laughs> so it's always a struggle for people like me who have sideburns because there's really no way to tape down your sides because of the hair. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this got to be glued on my forehead just so that it slightly has some type of hold. And then I'm just taking a silk scarf and just gonna wrap this on top of that for about 15 minutes. And I'll be back after 15 minutes. Unwrap this, and you should have a slight hold. I'm gonna unbraid this cornrow in the front. And I'm going to thin out this baby hair in the front. So taking my small shears again, just gonna jaggedly cut down. You don't wanna do it in a straight line at all, but you want cutting down gives it more of a natural appearance. Now to thin it out, I'm just gonna be using a tweezer. And now for some of the thicker parts, I'm just gonna razor some of it out. And I'm just keeping these a little bit longer again because of my sideburns, so I'm not really cutting these longer ones. Now using some handy dandy Eco Styler Gel. I'll be back in 10. And now for the ear tabs, again, since I can't lay those down the way I would like. I'm just going to have to blend some of the hair into my own natural sideburns. Just taking some Gorilla Snot, very small section of it, and just lay that down. Now going in with this CoverGirl powder, I'm just about to go ham on my hairline. All right, so I'm about to go do my makeup and I will be right back for this final reveal. So wish me luck, cross fingers. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I did my makeup and I just tied this down because I didn't want it to be like puffy. So hopefully that fixed that issue. Let's see. 
And then the only thing that's like kind of bothering me is this lace part showing right here. So when I take it off, I will probably cut more lace or I'll push my wood cap back um, because that wood cap is much lighter than I need it to be. So I'm gonna add a little bit more powder. But for right now, this is gonna have to do because I gotta get going. From far away, it's actually pretty fire. So I know what to do next time when I put it on. I'm gonna slide the wig cap back slightly and I'm gonna cut a little bit closer to the baby hairline. And yeah, so this is my wig transformation. I miss my long locks so much. So I'm super excited. Again, I will attach her information right here. She has an amazing assortment of natural hair wigs. There's braids, there's cornrows, there's locks. Super talented, straight from Nigeria. Let's definitely support our people. So I will leave that right here again and check the link in the description box below. But I think for my first like, real life attempt for a full lace wig, I think I did pretty okay. So, you know, next time I'll probably be looking a little bit more boss. So, baby steps. But I hope you have a marvelous day or night, whatever time it is, and I'll see you later. Like always, follow me on Instagram at I am Linda Elaine, Snapchat at Jim Mexican Beauty. And I am actually very excited, and I wanna thank you for sending me this wig because it is absolutely beautiful. I have a size large because I have a huge head. Um, so I be trying to tell y'all I have a big head, but y'all don't be believing me. So yes, my head is huge. So this is a size large, and to me, it is just enough hair for me to feel like I have full locks because I do not like thin locks because my head's so big. Okay, I'm done. I'm running late. <laughs> Bye.